willing to send his only son. Yeye alikuwa na haja ya kumtuma mwanao Yesu Kristo. He was saying that he looked in heaven. No one was willing to come and save us. Na ndio nasema mbingu ikakaa lakini hakuna yote aliyekuwa anataka kuja kwa ajili yetu. But Jesus was there ready to come and save us. Kwani Yesu akawa pale tayari ili aje kutuokoa. The second thing about the death of Jesus. Ah, jambo la pili kuhusu kifo cha Yesu. It serves as an example for Christians to commit Uh, to commit their life to the will of God. Yeah, ninatuonyesha mfano ya Mkristo kwa kuachilia ama kupeana maisha yake kwa Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. We read in this book of Matthew 26. Tunaposoma kwenye kitabu cha Mathayo 26 from that night there. Kwa sasa la 9:9 pale. Now we see here that Jesus was praying on the Tunaona hapa Yesu akiomba pale Getsman with his disciples. Akiwa na wanafunzi wake. Jesus knew what was coming before. Na Yesu alifahamu kile ambacho kinakuja mbele. He knew the suffering that was going to happen to him. Alifahamu mateso ambayo yanaenda kupitia. But what did he do? He said that go and let me let me read first. He went a little further and fell on his face and prayed saying, "Oh my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me." Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you as you will. Amen. Also in verse 42 of that same chapter. Ah, uh, katika mstari wa 42. Again, the second time he went away and prayed, saying, "Oh my Father, if this cup cannot pass away from me unless I drink it, your will be done." Amen. Now, Jesus then is an example for Christians to accept the will of God uh, to to come through. Hayo akifa cha Yesu Kristo ni mfano kwa haja ya Kristo kukubali mapenzi ya Mungu yatimie katika maisha yao. As Christians we must be willing for, uh, we must be ready for the will of God to happen in our life. Kama Kristo lazima tuwe tunahitaji ama tunatamani mapenzi ya Mungu kutendeka maisha yetu. You know Jesus had the power to resist this this death. Unajua Yesu ana uwezo wa kupinga kifo chake. He the son of God. He had all the power uh, to avoid this death and everything every suffering that he was away. Yeye alikuwa na uwezo maana ni mwana wa Mungu wa kuepukana na mateso na kifo hiki. But he humbled and accepted the will of God to happen in his life. Lakini yeye alinyekea akaitikia mapenzi ya Mungu kutendeka maisha ni mwana. So that through his death ili kupitia kifo chake mwanadamu akaokolewa kupitia kifo chake the gospel will continue nchini ikaendelee bwana yesu asifiwe amen imagine us preaching uh, today uh, when jesus did not die in israel ah leo hii kama yesu alikuwa amefutuka ama amekufa kafutuka haunge tupata kama tunahubiri will the gospel be as it is right now in na kweli nchini ingekuwa jinsi ilivyo sasa hivi kweli. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Tell your neighbor accept the will of God to happen in my life. Ambie jirani kubali mapenzi ya Mungu yatendeke maisha yako. Do not resist uh, the things of God to happen in my life. Usipinge mapenzi ya Mungu kutendeka maisha yako. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. The third thing uh, It is a key concept of forgiveness of sins in Christianity. Jambo la tatu la kwamba ni kipengee ama ufunguo wa kusababisha msamaha katika maisha ya wanadamu. This day of Jesus Christ, by the kifo hiki cha Yesu Kristo, it means that Jesus has taken our sins. Inamaanisha kwamba Yesu amechukua dhambi zetu. And that we have now become free. Baada ya hiyo sasa sisi tumefanyika huru. Let's look at the book of uh, that Tuangalie kitabu cha Mathayo 27 ikuanzia 25. From the 6 uh, hour until the 9 hour darkness came over all the land. About the 9 hour Jesus cried out in loud in loud voice, "Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani?" Which means, "My God, my God, why have you forsaken me?" Pray the Lord. Amen. Now here why why the darkness covered the earth? Ni kwa nini giza linafunika nchi? What do we mean by darkness covered the earth? Ama tunamaanisha nini wakati giza linafunika nchi? This is the hour Jesus was, was now dying. Hii ni lisaba Yesu alikuwa anakufa. And he was very dark. Na alikuwa mchafu. 
because of our sin. The Bible says that things separate us from God. Ah, That's why we are seeing Jesus crying here after this, uh, after Pastor forty-six. Na na Yesu amedia hapa baada ya mstari wa He's crying, my God, my God, why have you taken for?
tunahitaji kuishi maisha yasiyo kuwa na dhambi because Christ died for us maana Kristo alikufa kwa ajili yetu for our sins kwa ajili ya dhambi zetu bwana Yesu asifiwe amen sasa jambo la nne kuhusu kifo cha Yesu Kristo it shows or it abolishes the need for animal sacrifice in Christian faith Yaani inadhihirisha ama inaonyesha kama vile mnyama alivyotoa kutolewa dhabihu kwa ajili ya mwanadamu. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Let me show you how sins are being forgiven in all the stuff. Wacha tuwaonyeshe jinsi dhambi zilikuwa zinasamehewa katika agano la kale. Leviticus 4:3. 4:3. Mambo ya Walawi 4:3. Leviticus 4:3. Mambo ya lao ya walao 4:3 Now here if the anointed priest sin bringing guilt on the people he must bring to the Lord a young bull without defect as a sign of offering uh, for the sin that committed he is to present the bull at the entrance he is to lay the hand there he be forgiven that of the priest then when we look at the verse 13 tunapoza saba katika to if the Lord is well committed sin unintentionally and that was forbidden in the name of the Lord's command even through the community even though the community is unaware of the matter they are guilty when they become aware of the sin they committed they assemble they assembly must bring a young bull as a sin offering and present it before the tent of the meeting that was now a whole community when the Lord will walk also jamiot when we go in verse 22 tunapoingia katika mstari wa 22 when the leader sins are intentionally and that was forbidden in the end of the uh, of the the lord he is guilty when is a man where well, he sins he must bring his offering a man god without defect then lastly uh, verse 27 27 if a member of the community sins are intentionally and that was forbidden in any of the lord's command he is guilty when is a man where when is made aware of his sin he must bring his offering for the sin he committed a female god praise the lord amen now we see here in the old testament there were so many things the god female god male god tunaona hapa katika agano la kale kulikuwa na wanyama tofauti tofauti wa kike wa kiume wale wale wachanga it was a sin offering ilikuwa ni kwa ajili ya kuondoa dhambi. Praise the Lord. Amen. By the death of Jesus Christ. Lakini kwa kifo cha Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Such like things were abolished. Sasa vitu kama hizo zikaondolewa. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Because he did men uh, that we, we, we are saved through him. Maana kupitia kwa kifo chake sisi tumeondolewa. Our sins are forgiven through his death. Dhambi zetu zimesamehewa kupitia kwa kifo chake. There is no need for a priest or someone else to go and make offering on our behalf. Tunatuna hitaji tena ya kuhani ama mtu mwingine kwenda kutoa mnyama sadaka kwa sababu yetu. Break the name of the living God. Amen. Also we we'll look in the book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 17. Tunapotasama pia kitabu cha Wabrania 10:17. Hebrews 10:17. Wabrania 10:17. Through his death Jesus made salvation and eternal life available to all people. 
kupitia kifo chake Yesu akafanya uokovu na maisha ya milele kupatikana kupitia watu He made salvation and eternal life available to all people. Sasa akafanya ya kwamba uzima ama uokovu na maisha ya milele kupatikana kwa watu wote. Remember in his death. Mbuka kwa kifo chake wakati papa alikuwa anakufa tu akasia ya hekalu likararuka vipande viwili hii inamaanisha nini it means all of us will have equal chance for going to jesus inamaanisha sisi wote tuna fursa hiyo sawa kumwelewa yesu na kumuuliza kile ambacho tunataka kutoka kwake amen we are sisi wote tuna fursa sisi sawa kwenda mbele za Mungu na kujidhihirisha mahitaji yetu kwa Mungu. Na haijalishi kama wewe umeitia kutoka wapi. Inaweza kuelewa Mungu jinsi ulivyo. Ani wakati wowote. Amen. Jesus made salvation and eternal life available to all people. Yesu akafanya uokovu na maisha ya milele kupatikana kwa ajili ya watu wote. In Romans 8:17 it says we are coherent to Jesus Christ. Katika Warumi 7:8 uh, inasema sisi ni washiriki pamoja na Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Tuko na haki ya kurithi pamoja na yeye. Tuko na haki ya kurithi pamoja na Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Praise the Lord. Amen. John 12:32. Uh, ah, Yohana 12:32. John 12:32. Yohana 12:32. Ah, But I when I'm lifted up from the earth I will draw all men to myself. Kwa sababu mimi nikiinuliwa hapa chini duniani nitajivutia watu wengi kwa ajili yangu. Through his death, kwa sababu kupitia kifo chake all men will be, will be drawn to him. Watu wote watavutwa kwenda kwake. Now this morning you have a chance to be to be drawn to God. Hela siku ya leo na nafasi ya kuvutwa kwa Mungu. You have a chance to be able to send Eh una nafasi ya kwenda kusema sana na Mungu. Wewe na yeye direct. Wewe na yeye because it's available for all of us. Kwa sababu inapatikana kwa sisi wote. Praise the Lord. Amen. Also Romans 5:9. Na pia katika Warumi 5:9. Eh kwa Now 
kuingia kifo chake sasa tuna wasiwasi na hata tunapokutana mauti hatuna wasiwasi because we know where we are going maana tunafahamu ni wapi tunakoenda because we are going at a safe place maana tunaenda mahali palipo sawa a place prepared by god himself maana ndio kwa maandaliwa na Mungu mwenyewe as you are all time you read second corinthians 4 kwa nafasi yako utasoma korinto ya pili nne kumi also first corinthians ama Corinto wa kwanza 15 55 to 56 amsini na tano na amsini na sita first corinthians 15 55 wa Corinto wa kwanza 15 na tano amsini na tano hata tulisome pale we are saying that we uh, this day this christian encourage uh, to to face them uh, tunasema kwamba kifo chake kimewapatia wakristo ujasiri wa kukutana na mauti hope and faith wakiwa na tumaini na amani na first corinthians 15:55 it says where all that is your victory where all that is your sting the sting of death is sin and the power of sin is law but thanks to god he gives us victory through our lord jesus christ therefore my dear brothers stand firm let nothing move you always Give yourself fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Pray the Lord. Amen. Now we have it even in death. Sasa tuna ushindi hata katika mauti through the death of Jesus Christ. Pia kifo cha Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Briefly uh, the last point it forms foundation of Christian faith and it shapes believers relationship with God. It forms foundation of Christian faith. Inatengeneza msingi wa imani ya Kristo and it shapes the, the, the believer's relationship with God. Na inarekebisha ushirika wa muamini na Mungu. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. It then uh, forms our relationship with God to be even more stronger. Ah, kifo chake kinafanya ushirika wetu na Mungu kuwa wenye nguvu. Because God invested in his own son. Maana Mungu aliegesa kwa manawa pekee Yesu Kristo our sin. Kwa ajili ya maisha yetu. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Now when someone invests in you, unaona mtu anapoegesa ndani mwako, he has a strong is trying to create a strong relationship between you and him. Anajaribu kufanya uhusiano wenye nguvu kati kati yako wewe na yeye. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Imagine if someone is sponsoring you Uh, if someone is sponsoring you maybe school fees ah ah if you get the man to ana kusaidia labda kulipa kari ya shule and maybe it is your enemy na labda ni adui wako is that really possible hiyo ni kweli na uwezekano it is most likely not possible so for 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 the day of jesus by the way for jesus our relationship with god becomes even more stronger yani ushirika wetu na uhusiano wetu na mungu unafanyika wenye nguvu zaidi Then lastly the death of Jesus uh, brings help to us. Ah, na mwisho ni kwamba kifo cha Yesu kinaleta uzima ama afya kwetu. In Isaiah I think 53 verse 5. Katika Isaiah 253. It said that through his death uh, yes, but he was being pierced for our transgression, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him and by his wounds we are healed. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Now, through his wounds he was pierced through his wounds we are healed. Kwa hiyo alidungwa mkuki na kupitia kwa mdunda wake sisi tumepona. Also is for us uh, to believe in his death. Kwa hiyo kwa ni kwa ajili yetu sisi pia kuamini kifo chake. And to believe that his death brings healing unto our souls. Na kuamini kwamba chake kinaleta upokaji hata kwa mioyo zetu. That wherever we feel and when, wakati ambapo tunahisi na tuko sawa, just go about the the, the Lord. Kumwitia tu jina la Bwana. And declare that Lord through your death I'm healed. Na utangaze Bwana kupitia kwa kifo chako nimetonywa. Also in first Peter I think it's chapter 2. Na pia katika Petro wa kwanza mbili, it also emphasizes on through his death we were healed. Pia inaelezea mkazo na kwamba kupitia mapigo yake sisi tumetonywa. Praise the name of the living God. Jina la Bwana lipewe 
participar. I want us to start uh, before the Lord. Ninguém pode começar com cima da beleza agora. I appreciate the Lord for the death of Jesus Christ. Eu estou muito honrado com a sabedoria de Deus que o Senhor me deu. I am so thankful to God. Na tumshukuru Mungu kwa kutuma Mwanawe to die unto us. Mungu kwa ajili yetu. For the sake of our sins. Kwa ajili ya dhambi zetu. Great the name of the living God. Jina la Bwana Yesu ni kwa sifa. I raise the voice before the Lord. Ninaa sauti yangu kutoka kwa Bwana. Thank you because of the death of Jesus. Mshukuru kwa sababu ya kifo cha Yesu. Thank you for sending his only son. Mshukuru kwa kutuma Mwanawe pekee yake. Amen to save us from our sinful nature. Ili aje kutoka kutoka